Hey folks, Mike McGee here. We are in the clover field that we cut. I cannot believe it didn't rain last night. We've got like a 90% chance of rain right now and a 100% chance of rain this afternoon, so we've got to get with it. We picked up the, la the grass hay the last two days and it was very dry and ready to go. What I think is odd is that this clover just continues to stay in a damp condition. It's more of a, it's encased. It's like it's, it's not drying out. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to beat the rain. Instead of throwing this in a big pile and letting it get hot and mold and rot and go to nothing, we're gonna pickle this with salt. I've done it before, it worked like a charm. So let's get with it. We gotta hurry and get this done for the rain, but I'm gonna get on here and rake this hay up and we're gonna throw it on the trailer and get it to where we're gonna take it and we're gonna layer it with salt. Let's go. Well, we got a very common problem for hay farmers and that is breakdowns. And this right here is probably gonna do us in here on this project. We will get out here and get what we can. It looks like that this uh, universal joint just give out on it right here. And uh, unfortunately, it's gonna take some major doings to replace that. So for now, we're done raking with that. We're gonna get out here and just take some rakes and get up some. We probably won't get this entire field but we're gonna do what we can, so let's see what we can do. boys what you got there man where oh yeah that's not poisonous he's no problem with that one we'll let him live okay. no poison there boys <clears throat> he does want to bite but he's not poisonous so hit the road toad One thing you'll notice about this stack is this clover, we are not getting up there and packing it and stomping it in. For one thing, this stuff is kind of sticky, grippy. It, it doesn't want to slide off the pile. Number two is we want to keep it somewhat loose so that as we take it off, we can salt it and get it all pickled up. a hay stack out here. Wilbur's pen is right here. This is where Wilbur is. And I'm intending to feed this to Wilbur. And then if he don't like it, we'll give it to the cows if they like it. But we're gonna get it off here. This tree will serve as a hay pole and it will allow the stack to go up. And we may try to go ahead and cover the stack with the tarp as well, but you know, back in the old days, they just made hay stacks around a pole in the field and left it, and the hay just kind of sheds the water off. You might lose about that much on the outside edge. But the old timers didn't really layer it with salt. This here is so green and pliable yet. It's just, it's really way too green to be stacking up. So we're gonna layer it with salt to stop that rot. Salt will pickle it and make it edible. So we're gonna start forking it off here around this tree. Going good. The 
sun has popped out and it's got that extreme heat that comes before a real storm hits. And so we're trying to get this on finished. And as you see, we don't like just a whole lot here. It's coming off. This stuff binds together. Man, if, if you don't take it off the way it was put on, you don't get it off. That's just about all there is to it. So I'm going to show you the kind of salt we're using. Uh, we're using this salt right here. Diamond Coastal. Uh, it's, a, it's a water softener is what it is. But it's pure salt. And David here is mashing these pellets up. And he's... Uh, making it where it'll I keep getting hay in my mouth he's making it where it'll coat that just right and this five gallon bucket here is the last we got so we got to make it last as well as possible the salt was given to us by somebody that didn't want to use it in their water and so that's what we're doing we're putting it in hay and let's keep trucking see if we can get this finished up Beautiful. That's a haystack, boys. Now we're just gonna go around and sort of pack these sides. What you want is for it to encase and for the rain to just come rolling right off. And that's why we make it so steep. You see that right there? That's, I, I'd like it to be like that all the way around, but it's not exactly, it's pretty good. Actually, it's straight up right here. And so I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna go ahead and coat it with salt really good and when it rains, it'll just suck that salt right in there. This is what I was talking about. There's some pretty good chunks in there. They'll slowly melt over time. So I'm just gonna go around it, throw a lot of salt on it. When the animals eat this, it'll give them salt. It's kind of neat. Uh, I believe that the the actual green stems will suck up a lot of this salt and the salt will actually be inside the hay all right we've got it done we salted it down it's got salt in layers through and through and through so i'm hoping that'll be good enough now i don't know if you know this a lot of people don't know this if you're baling hay square hay to put in your barn and it's too green it will burn your barn down it gets so hot here's what you might not know if you layer salt on them bales as you put it in the barn it will save your barn and it'll make that hay the best hay you ever had it'll take instead of being rotten hay if it don't burn the barn down it'll be the best hay you ever fed i did that with johnson grass hay it was so hot it was heating my barn up as I put the bales, you stack them on edge so that those stems are sticking up. You take that fine mixing salt that you can buy to, at a, you know, any co-op or whatever store, feed store, and uh, just spread that on there. It sucks that in. You can feel it start cooling down immediately, and it absolutely does a beautiful job. In this uh, here, I've never done this exactly like this. So this is gonna be somewhat of an experiment for me and I'll try to keep you updated. If you're interested and wanna know, ask me, you know how it's going, we'll let you know. But that should shed water pretty good right there and be just like a big old round roll of hay. So we're gonna get out of here for now. I got salt in my hands and in my sores and blisters and it does not feel good. So I'm gonna go in the house and wash up. But until next time, boys, we'll see you on the next video.